Hey, welcome to the show. Today in the show, I have a challenging problem for you. This problem has a possibility of two answers, but one answer can be proven. What I want you to do right now is go ahead and pause the video. When you're ready to solve it with me, hit play. So go ahead and pause the video. Like I said, there's two ways to solve this puzzle, and I think one way is a little better. So let's go ahead and start here. We have one plus four equals five. All right, and so what some people are doing is they're taking this five right here and they're putting the five right here and they're adding that to these numbers. So five plus two would be seven, seven plus five equals 12. All right, so then they take the 12, I'll put it over here. 12 plus three plus six would equal 21. All right, so then we're gonna take 21, we're gonna put it over here, 21 plus eight plus 11. So 21 plus eight is 29. 29 plus 11 equals 40. All right, so we're gonna put 40 right here. Okay, that would be one way, all right? So let's take a look at a different way. So same puzzle, but we're gonna do this a little different, all right? I'm gonna use a secret formula. My formula is, is we're gonna go A times B right here, all right, plus A. So this is A and this is B, and we're just gonna plug it into this little secret formula here. So we would have one times four, right here, plus A, plus one, plus one right there. So one times four is four, plus the one would be five, all right? That makes sense. Let's go ahead and keep on going. We have two times five, plus the two, that equals 12, all right? So then we have three times six, which is 18, plus the three equals 21, all right? Looking good so far? Yeah. All right, so then I have eight times 11, which is 88, all right, plus the eight, all right? So we have 88 plus the eight, which is 96, okay? So which way is better? Is it this one here? Is it 40 or is it, if I can slide that here, is it 96, all right? So there might be some debate on which one. I think it's this one right here. Why? Because I'm going to kind of show you here. Let me move this here. Take a look at this. This is our original problem, our puzzle. We had one plus four equals five, two plus five equals 12, and then we have eight plus 11. The reason I put eight plus 11 is because there's a pattern right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm just continuing with the pattern. So remember, our secret formula was a times B plus A. So here, I'm just gonna fill in this little pattern. Remember, mathematics is all about patterns. So if the pattern continues, one, two, three, it would continue all the way going to four, five, six, seven, all the way to eight. So here it's four, five, six, all right? So then I would go plus seven, plus eight, plus nine, plus 10. So seems to make sense, all right? They just kind of threw this little one in at the end. Remember, this was 96. So for this one, four times seven, plus the four, four times seven is 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Five times eight, plus the five, we got 40, 45. So then I have six times nine right here, six times nine, which is 54, plus the six, which would be 60. So I'm gonna go ahead and write 60 right here. And then I have seven times 10, which is 70, oh, plus the seven, and that is 77. 
For me, this seems to be the ones because I can prove it with A times B plus A. That's how I would think 96 would be the answer. Hey, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, thanks a lot for watching my videos. Make sure you check out my other videos on here. I'd sure appreciate it if you hit that likey button down there. Also hit subscribe and like always, have a fun day. Adios, bye.